All right, guys, so this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do the blending inside of the sketchbook app digitally on your computer. OK, so I'm going to start off. I'm going to use the paintbrush. I'll make it um, the size that right now doesn't matter because we're just going to be coloring. So I'm going to color a spot here on my paper digitally on my paper. OK, I'm going to select my second color. I'm going to use red and right next to it, I'm going to kind of color in that space next to it so that we have two spots. One is yellow, one is red. Okay. Now over here on your tools where you have like all your different like drawing tools, at the very top you have the button for your brush library and you're going to click on that. And you're going to see here, you're going to have this view at the top. You'll have the basic, the texture, essentials, the Copic, and of course the synthetic paint. And if you use the scroller on your mouse or if it's a touch screen, you can touch it with your finger and kind of scroll through towards the bottom. You have here one of the smudge tools. I personally like the smudge tools better than the actual pastel tools. So over here down at the very bottom, the pastel tools, you have the actual blenders. Okay, so I'll show you what this first one looks like with a blender. You've got the super soft blender and then the soft blender or the soft wash. And then of course the fine grain, the stick streaky, you've got a whole bunch of different blenders here for you. Okay, so we'll use the super soft blender. And when you double click on it, you can adjust like all the different types of like blending pieces that it's got for you. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it like that. The only thing is with the blender, you have to be mindful of the color that you have selected for your like blender because you can see I actually have color on my blender. Okay, so if you wanted to, you could actually start off with the blender color. Okay. Start off with the blender and then choose your, your other color. You could actually blend it inside of that. And now we're starting to see that like orange color. Okay. All right. You could do it that way. You could kind of blend it here. See how it's starting to blend those colors. Right. Blend those colors. But again, I have red selected. So if I, oops, if I choose my yellow, I can start to see that, that yellow starting to blend. I'm going to do all, all do that. I'm going to show you a different one. I'm going to actually scroll back up and use the smudge. So I personally like this last one, the smudge soft flat brush. Okay, when you click double click on that, you can adjust the smudging, how you want the smudge to be, how thick you want it to be, the flow of the smudge, like how much of it it is smudging. And then of course the strength of the smudge, like how deep the smudge is going to be. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay. So when you're over here, I don't have a color. There's no color with my smudge. Okay. But what you're going to do is along this line where these two colors meet, where we see that contrast, you're just going to start to smudge those colors. And if you notice, the slower you go, you can kind of see those little spots. But if you're kind of like coloring over it quickly, it actually blends and smudges that color. So that way we don't see where those two colors end. Okay. All right. So I'm going to show you with the, the like sunset colors. I'm going to go back to my paintbrush. I'm going to start with my yellow. Okay. I'm going to go into an orange. Then a red. I'm going to use like a magenta color. Do this one. A purple. And then a blue. Okay. All right. So we can kind of see here all of our all of our colors with so a rainbow basically minus the green. Now I'm going to go into my smudge tool. Where is it? There it is. I really like this one. I mean, you can use like any of these kind of smudge tools if you want. Play around with them. Figure out which one you like the most. I'm going to come into the brush properties. I'll move it over here to the right. I'm going to change the flow just a little bit and the strength a little bit more. 
so that way it's not so defined when I smudge it. Okay. All right, here we go. So again, along the line where the two colors meet, I'm just going to kind of blend them, right? We're smudging that line so that way it's nice and smooth. Okay. Here we go with the red and the orange, smudging the line. I want to smooth it out. Careful when you get into the white because it's going to pull that white color too. Okay. Now the red and the pink, kind of blending those colors in. Smoothing out, smudging out that edge with the purple. So we can still see a separation of the colors, but it's not as defined. Okay, not as defined. Also, keep in mind like the color that you start with. Okay, I'm going to kind of pull this purple into the blue. Pull the purple into the blue, pull the pink into the purple. I'm going to start getting rid of that, that line. Oops. Okay. And if you really, really wanted to, could close that brush property, come back down here to the blender. Okay, and using the blender, I'm going to go back to like a yellowy, maybe like an orange color. That's a good color. And kind of add that blend there in the center. Maybe have an orange red. Smooth it out a little bit more. Get my red back in here. It's a little too much. Okay, but it's all about experimenting, playing with these colors, okay, mixing these colors, blending them, giving them that nice transition, okay, especially since you have this nice color wheel over here, you can actually, like, control what those colors look like, right? Okay. And there you go. That's how we blend on the computer digitally using the sketchbook app and the brush library with the pastel or the smudge tool.